way back. We start sausages because it's Friday and it'll be rude not to. It's a nice day today. Not so bad. So last week, that being I'm with Shirley, and I picked these up too for a tenner. And a pear tree and a golden delicious apple. I won't put them in these buckets. Uh, just for a couple of years. Well, I decide where they're going. They might be going along that wall over there because these are exactly the same tree. I think I've had these a couple of years, but I haven't moved them about a bit, so and I can't remember which is which. I think that's the pear, and that's a golden delicious, and then them two are Henry's, aren't they? Yeah, so well, they might fit in between here. Somewhere, and then I can have spallier these all way along. But anyway, I found out they're going in buckets. So we'll get some fruit on them this year. I think they're three year old now, then. Flag's flying well. Yeah. So they're going in there. So they need a soaking for an hour or two first. And also, got some seeds. It before me, I always need that. Yeah, I've got some seeds here because <laughs> I had no sweet corn, so I've got three packets of sweet corn. Tumbling Tom tomatoes, Gardener's Delight tomatoes, two lots of carrots, and a swede. So I can get them going soon. Oh, I've got two more here. Yeah. Oh, a Roma tomato and a moneymaker. So I've got all our tomatoes there. Another packet of uh, cable tires. That's it. So, blue tap. Oh, I forgot to show you two. Hang on. A trophy cabinet. We've got Henry's there. Henry's, man, man, so we've got two each, big pumpkin last year, uh, big onion, 2008, runner up but he reckons he's got wrong trophy there because he won it that year, so that's for the uh, plot competition and then that's hers from council last year, Wigan and Bloom, yeah. Need two more this year, so there better be a competition on. <whistles> what it was though, it was an old, uh, my dad made it years ago, when I emptied his shed. Two college tools, obviously, I'm slow in getting through them now, and uh, that was full of nails and screws and that. I thought, yeah, I'll have it for a trophy cabinet. Why not? Here comes the rain. I'll get them trees soaking in water while that kettle is boiling. Yeah, so I've got a tub of water there. And these just come with this uh, cling film round the roots. If you can peel it off, peel it off. It's better than cutting it. Oh, I'll get my hands free and then I'll peel that off. Two secs. There you go. That's how you get it. Pretty damn that compost anyway, let's round it, but uh, we'll just dip that in there. Let them roots get a soak it for an hour or two before we plant it. We'll do the same with this one now. Some do with OCDs on this one. Keeping that soil compact around these roots while they're being before they get planted. But uh, that's all it is, there's not many roots on that one. I think that's got to be alright. Not many roots on that at all. Keep an eye on that one, which one's that one? Golden Delicious. 
Try to give it a good start. Right, get some compost in them buckets. We'll make a brew. Leave them soaking for about an hour. There you go. Been in that bowl about an hour now. So we'll just plant them in there. Give them a good drink. I'll just leave them in here while it's still a bit cold outside. As soon as it gets a bit warmer, for the end of next month, I can go outside. I can keep behind them in here now, make sure they're taken. Because this one, I'm not so sure about There's only a couple of roots on the stalk. It was a bad show, that one, really. That pair had a load of roots. But just see how they go on. I planted it nice and deep and firmed it in. So they've got a chance. They don't want no goodness in there, just uh, compost because uh, let them roots get a chance for grow. Found a way out, looking for food. They don't want food there, if they found food, the uh, roots won't grow proper. So that's just normal compost with nothing in. Treat some out of here because there's nothing in the top bit, because that's for carrots. I'm topping that up Sunday. Need three bags of compost for that. But we'll have to see Ken on Sunday. And then we'll get them carrots going because we've got our seeds now so we can plant them. And I'll get them in on Sunday. But yeah, we got that and trees. Brew town. Just filling some gaps where I'm bored. This expandable form is built in stuff. Because if you let it just, just ready for going off. You can like manipulate it and push it into gaps. See, it's not quite sticky, but it's still pliable. So you push all air out of it, and then it goes into gaps. Love this stuff, me. To fill that gap, nice under that door. So I'll do all along the then brew down. There you go, all squished in. When it's dry that now, I'll just trim it off with a knife. Could just be a nice ledge going up there, but uh, cover that gap up. You do be on that door there before it sets. Well, the wind's blowing the right way today. I see that picture. There it was. I missed an opportunity there, didn't I? I should have put YouTube in the bottom corner. The free advertising. Oh well, never mind. I've uh, put that smallest tobacco plant in here because it's about the only one that's uh, not gone brown on top. It looks all right, that one, so it's nice and warm in here, so... <laughs> look is nice and up. Yeah. These are going a bit uh, dangly on top now. That was flowered, but... A bit floppy on top, not getting brown, see like a brown leaf. That's uh, committed our carry that one. Yeah, so only that one looks decent. So we'll see. <coughs> All these bulbs are coming up now. We planted a load in here. And uh, Henry said this morning they all started coming up. These have been up a couple of months, these. Uh, grey piacinth and uh, tulips in there. I think that's full of tulips. This bed's starting to come alive again. Fox gloves then. Got them off pat. These are azaleas. Two azalea bushes. Different colours. It's looking a bit uh, lavender. A bit laggy. I can't remember what that is, but that's just growing back now, can you see it? It gets like a long leaf on with that one. 
the purple flower. He's trimming down a bit that. And there's bulbs coming up everywhere. He's a good weed in here, they're all done there like that. Buttercups, they need coming out. That's being cleaned out on Sunday. These are all uh, RS. I don't know what that is, that orange flower, I think. The old one. They're RS. The daffodil. What I didn't stand on. This fig's just coming back now, do you see? It's pretty hardy, that thing. These there's daffodils down here as well, so these saw here there. The daffodils. There's all kinds in there, bluebells and everything. That these chopping down, I think that's called Target Lily or something. It's a lovely plant now. He's trimming down now though. And that's Henry's uh, barra. Well, all sorts, herbs and everything. All red jugs. Nope. Still need to trim them trees down. It's still a bit damp yet, and as Joe said this morning, if you cut them, damp gets in, you get disease. But uh, that one might be coming out. Not decided yet, I'm shouting my chainsaw up. I might put that plum one in its place over there because that's growing out right now. That's about three year old now. That one, so it's eight foot tall, probably. They're too tall, then they need coming off. It's coming off to about that T there. But it's too damp yet. That needs chopping up, that could be done. All them's been emptied Sunday as well, so all that'll be clear. The sprouts are coming out. I look at these onions today now, I've not got a brew in my hand. Onions and garlic. These have been in a while. 20, 25th of the night, 2020 they went in. The essential onions. Can't remember what they was. They was rubbed off. Uh, that's garlic anyway, yeah, that's garlic. These are red onion, you can see them. And that's white onion on the back, sends you again. And these are a different onion. Garlic. Sorry, yeah, it's all garlic, that. A couple of onions along front. <laughs> yeah, they're all doing all right. Should be putting some good roots down. Should start taking off them soon. <laughs> Give all beds a good raking on some. Uh, get rid of these top weeds. Get it ready. Tidy them strawberries up. But with, uh, I've used that strawberry cover up here. Let me keep that on it. Yeah, that's about it. Well, plants up here anyway. The nerves are doing all right in there. Looking all right. Yeah, nah, we've got to go on now and uh, I'll show you them seeds at home because there's some more come out. So we've got loads of seeds, no peas yet. Nope. Yeah, so see you back at the ranch. That wind's picked up a bit and that's been trying to turn. About 12 mile an hour the wind, so that's not so bad. 
It was just ticking around before. Didn't think it turned so slow. It's early in the winter there. Mountain. Crows. Right. Yeah, these pots done from sausages. And uh, not even wash my coat. Well, no talks to you. I was going home half an hour ago, but uh, Barry's just been on. Barry Astor. So I just had a good chat with him. And, uh, I hope that's going to be all right. Is it are there any roots on that? Fingers crossed on that one. Yeah, fingers crossed on that one. Want it doing it? No. Dishes. Twelve mile an hour winds. That's all this is done. Henry, sorry. We're down to one plate. Butter fingers. My fault. I've even washed my coat leak. I'll just cut that board out there. Little piece of board I had left. Cracking saw that. Just because it's uh, got a barbecue underneath, so better fuck this stuff on melting like that we're off so that's dishes washed we'll get home one of these times I think I've done now though I've taken that water on because I need some water yeah Nice and tired again. This is washed. <sighs> Time for home. We'll have a look at them uh, seedlings at home. See you there. Uh, back at the ranch. I'm just going to give these a good spray in there and see what we've got. Up to now, we've got. Get that torch on them. That's a full show on them sun gold tomatoes. The onions are just starting to turn, them big onions are yours, there you go. If you watch, got something on here, what's this, collie, there. One pork in three, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one, nothing in that one, got something in that one there, can you see? Nothing in that one. I've got a first chill in that one, whatever it is. We'll look in a minute. These were all planted on the 13th of the first. Well, that's the cabbage. So we've got golden acre cabbage there. Need a full show on that. And I'll come to Luke. So let's give them all a good spray now. They're doing all right, so that's uh, 13th of the 1st that was planted. So it's only like two weeks, that. A week and a half or something. So it's not so bad. We're doing okay. Right, I'm going to finish that off and then uh, I'll go and make this video for you. See you later.